Welcome back. Uh, well, let's uh, go over another set of earnings and now we are talking about Century Ply. Company had a slightly weakish quarter this time around. Uh, we actually have Mr. Keshav Bhajanga, Executive Director of Century Ply, joining in to give us some of the details. Uh, Keshav, let me first start off with your uh, plywood division. There, can you start by telling us what you did in terms of uh, volume growth? Um, in last year, during the course of last year, we had doubled the revenue growth um, in terms of value. In terms of volume, the growth was slightly muted. Uh, the primary reason behind the same was it was a transitional year. Last year, GST came into play and the e-way bill was delayed to the first quarter of this year. As such, there was pressure from the unorganized sector players who were trying to figure out a way to continue with clandestine transactions. So I think this year, we should see far better volume growth. Okay, so that pressure from unorganized players is something that you've told us about in the past as well and that's something that even the industry has referred to. Um, that, that's come to an end or do you think that it could go on for a bit more? Uh, you see, the pressure is definitely easing to a certain extent uh, okay. because the e-way bill has now come into play and because of that, um, the transactions that would take place at zero billing have reduced drastically. Having said that, however, um, it is a change that takes some time. So I think over the course of the next uh, two quarters, we should see a substantial improvement. This quarter itself, we are seeing benefits from the same. Okay. okay, let's talk about your newly commissioned MDF plant. Now, what is the guidance that you give uh, can, that you can give us there? When does it turn a bit positive in FY19? How much are you clocking to uh, get from the MDF plant? Um, the MDF plant is already a bit more positive. Um, during the course of the current year, I think that uh, we have done around uh, 120 crore plus in terms of revenue mm. and um, I believe that the EBITDA margins have been close to 18% plus. Mm. Going forward, we look at EBITDA margins of 20% plus and the turnover to substantially increase to well in excess of 300 crores. Okay, so 300 crore turnover from the MDF plant, uh, that is in FY19? Yes, in FY19 itself. Okay, so that's, all, that's doubling of the uh, turnover within one year? Actually, it's more than more doubling. than doubling, yeah, because it was 120 crores earlier. So we commissioned the plant uh, on the first of October. Uh, we uh, started commercial production the first of October. We started sales on the first of October, so we only got half a year last time round. Okay. This year we'll have the full year. Secondly, our capacity utilization has been increasing month on month, quarter on quarter. So first quarter we had a decent capacity utilization. Second quarter we improved on our capacity utilization, and now going forward we are seeing the trend is very strong. So this year, we are confident that we'll do 300 crore plus as a bare minimum. So, Keshav, now I'm looking at the overall picture. For FY18, which has been a slightly challenging year, your margins both on plywood and laminates were lower. MDF obviously is now scaling up, as you just explained. Uh, give us a margin outlook, blended margins uh, for the company as a whole, and individual segments, both uh, plywood and laminates. What can we expect in FY19? Okay, um, so during the course of the last year, as I told you, there were substantial challenges. Uh, one of the major challenges in the plywood division was that our Guwahati unit, which is one of our largest producing units, had a lot of raw material pressure because the plan, uh, the plan for tree felling in the northeast was actually delayed slightly because of which availability became a problem. Now that seems to be normalizing. Having said that, passing on raw material price increases to the market is slightly challenging in this environment. So we believe that this year we will definitely do better than last year with a beta margins of 50 percent plus. But uh, we don't see a bit of margin in the plywood division rising substantially about, about that. In laminates, there have been continuous pressure on raw material because of the increase in crude prices, which has led to the increase in phenol prices. And phenol is a large component of the overall raw material market. Mm -hmm. As such, I believe that uh, over the course of this year, uh, we are going to see margins somewhat flattish compared to last year at 15% plus. However, we should see a volume growth of 20% or in excess of 20%. So that should contribute to overall profitability. So you Maybe won't, uh, you won't yeah. pass on any of the costs, is it, raw material costs? I mean, it's 400 basis points year on year impact on margins is a big thing, right? This In this quarter that you've seen, 15% um, is what you're saying will continue. That means you won't pass on any of the costs? Uh, no, last year, uh, the increase in quarter four was primarily due to forex benefit. So if you look at it, last year there was a substantial benefit in Q4 because of the dollar weakening and the euro weakening. Whereas over the course of the past quarter, the dollar and the euro both have strengthened. So there has been a forex loss in the last quarter as opposed to forex gain in the previous quarter. If we negate that fact, then Q4 last year without forex 
was around 16, 16.5%. And Q4 this year was 15, 15.5%. So it is just 100 basis points that have changed. It is not actually 400 basis points. Okay, so Keshav, okay. now just to round things up, and I'm now not talking individual segments, I'm talking about the you know, company as a whole. Uh, you are saying, did you say 15% margins only for the plywood business or for overall? And what's the top line growth guidance you can give us, FY19, top line? FY19, FI top line growth will be in excess of 20% for value growth. And in terms of EBITDA margins, EBITDA margins should see for the company as a whole at least a 100 basis point increase. Okay, and just one last question on the MDF business. You did mention 300 crores of turnover. What's the utilization levels now and how much can it improve over the next few quarters? The utilization levels for the first half of the year were around 50-55%. Okay. And this year we are going to be looking at 80% plus utilization for the entire year. Okay, uh, Kesha, thanks for stopping by and speaking with us. That Century Ply, they are seeing uh, some pressures on their business definitely, but they expect things to improve going ahead. But metal stocks are leading the losses this morning. Hindalco has taken a knock of over 3%. It was a subdued quarter for them actually. Uh, my colleague Kevin Lee caught up with Satish Pai, the MD.